Good morning grandkids. I'm making a vlog this morning to show you some of the things that I received in the mail. Uh, my camera is right here in front of me sitting on my desk and it used to be up there on top of my monitor and I would forget to look up at you people. <laughs> and here um, I keep wanting to look in my own eyes, and so I'm still forgetting to look into the camera. I'm getting, and I now look up sometimes up there, so forgive me wherever I look, please. I'm in my brain looking at you. The first thing that I want to show you that I got is from Shelley O'Brien. I'll read her note. Dear Grandma Shirley, Hi Grandma, I'm really enjoying the Deepman series. It is nice to see you enjoying playing again. <clears throat> yeah, I just had to take a few weeks off. Anyway, I thought it was time to send you some of your favorite chocolate dipped cherries. I also sent some of my favorite, my favorite chocolate too. I'm glad that you feeling better and playing again. Enjoy your treats and thank you for being the best grandma. With love, your Skyrim grandkid, Shelly O'Brien. <laughs> and I gotta show you the dragon that she drew me. Isn't that cool? Um, I want to say Shelly, well, first of all, this is the kind of candies that she sent me that's her favorites. There's different kinds of flavors. Can you see that? It's not, it's not very clear, is it? Is that better? I don't know. Anyway, these are in different flavors, and she sends me these every so often to eat, which is great. They're easy for me to eat. Those are her favorites. She sent me these because they're my favorites, but every time I get them, they are in such a mess. Well, she finally, after I was telling her this, uh, started sealing it in a plastic bag. So... When I open the bag, it's such a mess inside. It gets me in a mess. I've dripped it on my clothes before. Trying to get the wrapping off of it. She wraps it so pretty. And I appreciate it, Shelly, very much. But trying to get the paper and everything off and getting the box open is such a mess. And then inside the box, it is a total mess. You would not believe what kind of a mess it is inside. So I'm going to ask you very respectfully, as much as I love these, and as much as I appreciate the many times that you've sent them to me, please don't send them to me anymore. It's just too much mess. So I thank you. I appreciate your thoughtfulness and your and your care for me but just don't send me the covered cherries anymore just in the mail they get hot and it just makes such a mess no matter how you try to protect it so thank you for your sweet note and your candy I appreciate it okay uh, Kamira, I was sent by the company these earphones. I can hardly wait to open these this box and look at what they look like because I haven't yet. Uh, but my son wants to come over and uh, check these out and hook them up for me. So 
I'm not trying them out yet. I'm not even opening the box yet until he comes. And these are from Antlion Audio. I can't even, I can't even read this. It's a Camaro solo. So thank you very much. I'm really anxious to try these because the big headsets that I've always worn have gotten to hurt my ears so bad. I'm just, I just have them on too long during the day, I guess. I can't get away from my computer. And they really have been hurting my ears. So they said they would send me these and I appreciate it very much. I'm, I will have those in my ears instead of those big things on there. And I can hardly wait to see what the difference is going to be like. I'm really excited for this. So thank you very much. I appreciate it immensely. The next thing I want to show you is this is from the two Beekman brothers from from uh, my first game from them was Deliver Us the Moon. So they have sent me their new game, Deliver Mars. Deliver Us Mars, I think it's called. And they sent me this gift. And so I'm really excited for this, guys. Thank you so much. I have not had time to play that game. You sent it to me in time that I could play it uh, before it came out. And then be able to make a review on it. And I just have not had time. I'm sorry. But I will get it done. I promise. So guys, I'll show this. Came it came in this in this box. That's supposed to represent a spaceship, I'm sure. And here's my new little guy that I will have to find a home for somewhere on one of my bookshelves. Look at him. He's all dressed in his space suit. Now, I remember in the first game, they had the that ball thing that followed them around. And, and so I guess in this game, they have this guy. I haven't gotten to look at the game yet. And this is and this unzips and can be taken off of him, and then he's just a teddy bear. So he will be on one of my bookshelves, and I thank you so much for this. I always love things that represent games that I love. I hate to squish him back down in there. There you go. Okay, thank you, Deepman Brothers. Now I'm going to look at my mail. Yeah. Okay. This letter is from... I don't know how to pronounce it. A-C-E-L-I-N. Acklin. Aceline. J. Thomas, last name is Thomas, anyway, they're in California. I love your stationery. It's very cool. Oh, and they print nice and neat so I can read it. Hello, I am. Aceline Thomas, a 12-year-old stamp and autograph collector in California. He says, I normally go by 6Y Ace. I don't know what that is either.
other than that, that's probably m me not being able to read it. Because your printing is very neat, and I appreciate that very much. He's a he or she, I don't know which it is. Is a stamp and autograph collector in California. When I first found out about you, I thought it was funny to think a woman in her 80s playing video games with such a large following. I was wondering if you could hand sign the two index cards I included along with this letter. However, if you can't, I completely understand. Anyways, I hope you have a nice rest of your day and happy gaming. Well, I'll tell you something. These are two blank pieces of paper that they want me to s just sign my name on. They knew nothing about me. Uh, they thought it was funny to think that a woman in her 80s was playing this game and with a large following. So I was wondering if you could hand sign the index cards. They don't say whether they watch the game, whether they watch me, if they care anything about how I play. I am not going to send these because I have already gotten into some trouble in my in another area. Someone's scamming me. So I am not going to do this and I, I'm very sorry about that. But I don't do these things just willy-nilly to anyone and everyone, and especially someone that it seems like doesn't know me, has never talked to me, and doesn't watch my videos. So I'm sorry I'm not going to do this. My next piece of mail is from Barbara. Patoka. This is from Czechoslovakia. I want you to see the bird she drew up here. It's so cool. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And what is that bird doing with its foot down there? It has a cup of coffee with the Skyrim emblem on it and heat waves coming up off of it. Isn't that cute? And that's a really, really good red bird. Pardon. Thank you so much for the envelope. <laughs> um, ooh, there's more things in it. Sent me a, she sent me a card of all kinds of statues around a town. I wish things didn't reflect off of my screen onto whatever I'm trying to show. It makes it very difficult for me. And this envelope that she stuck this note in is so cute. She wrote as though these little dragons were saying different things. One of them says, that's the Dovahkiin down right there. Oh, it's the Dovahkiin Knight, I think. And the other dragon is saying, uh, doesn't she slay dragons? Like he's scared he might get slain. Another one laying down here is... It's fine, guys. We're cute. <laughs> yeah, so I wouldn't kill you. Yeah, that top one says that's the Dovahkiin, right? I think that's so cute. Thank you for doing that. And in it, she has a letter. And she, 
and she's made cute little oh god this is so cute this is from Hervessa oh, Hervessa I love the comments that you leave you leave me a comment every day on my Skyrim channel under stories and you leave me comments that is letting me know that you actually have watched the video and um and and that you're observing the things that are going on what's happening and i love it when you send me a comment i really appreciate you Marissa. <laughs> it is i her this uh, from the common comment section i want to show you all the little things first before i read she she put a little doggy up here she has in one paragraph she says i hail from a small country in central europe so she drew me this flag and said a czech republic citizen at your service oh Why doesn't this, I used to be able to hold a picture up here and the camera would eventually snap in. I don't understand what's happening to my stuff. I'm not happy at all. Another paragraph she talks about, she's, whenever she sees an interesting Twisted, gnarly, dead tree. She's thinking of me. So she drew a little twisty, gnarly tree. Reminds me of the one I have up there that some man made for me. She draws a little feather and ink pot up here that she's pretending to have written this letter with. And down here she put a mud crab sticker and said, I am not a mud crab, I swear. <laughs> this is so cute. Okay, good morning, Grandma. Couldn't really use any other greeting, could I now? My whole family has taken to saying that whenever I have one of your videos on and they hear your customary phrase, good morning, grandkids. I hope this font is okay. It's wonderful. I prefer to write my letters the old-fashioned way, by hand, that is. Etching stone tablets would get pretty expensive pretty soon, I fear. <laughs> but I wanted this to be readable enough. Thank you. I appreciate it. I have loads upon loads of things I'd love to tell you about and ask you about, but I shall try to keep this short, lest I never actually get around to sending it. Well, to start with obvious, you've heard it countless times by now, but I too wanted to say how much I love watching your videos. Your joy is infectious, your commentary is lovely and sassy and funny at the same time, and your gaming approach is immensely inspirational. I can only wish that I'll still be able to enjoy video games the way you do when I'm your age, honestly. Now there's motivation for having a healthy lifestyle. <laughs> That's true. You have to stay healthy. <laughs> That's why I don't understand people being so... Leaving comments, hundreds of comments, about me playing games at my age. And they'll say, my grandma can't do that. Well, they try to get their grandma at this age... To do something and they might have Alzheimer's, they might have dementia, they might have just settled into old age without having ever played games. You can't just start out playing a game if you're not able. I started, oh God, years and years ago. I started way before I started recording. So I don't know why people act like that's so unusual. It's not. There's lots of there's lots of older people that have been playing games since way back before all these young people 
even were born who act like, wow, oh, that's an old person playing a game. He played long time before you did. Anyway, sorry about the rant. I just get sick of the comments. Let me see, where am I at? I hail from a small country in Central Europe that is nevertheless filled with many gamers, I'm sure. Well, I get I get letters and stuff from gamers from all over the world. I'm always happy whenever I find someone who's also familiar with your videos. Cool. And I take great pride in saying that you are my favorite YouTuber, of course. Thank you, Sir Vanessa. Our entire family loves playing games, too. And we all think that you rock. My mom is especially delighted because too many people still think that video games are no proper hobby for an old person. Yeah, now I just addressed, I just complained about that. <laughs> Well, the exact opposite is true. That's true. When else are you supposed to find the time to play all the games that you've collected over the years? Not in the calm days of retirement. Yeah, but you see, you need to start. I started. Most others started a long time ago. My dear mother says hi, by the way, and sends you wishes of many more years of happy gaming. Thank you, Professor's mother. I appreciate that. I only had a vague sort of knowledge regarding Skyrim before I stumbled upon your channel, but now I recognize its cities, vast plains, its old friends. That's so cool. Thanks to you and all the other games that you've tried over the years. Oh my, love crafty and horror and story-driven RPGs alike. Watching you make your way through them all is just delightful. I'm glad you brought that up. I'm glad to know that you watch my games. Everybody on my channel, except the ones who have watched it faithfully. I say, play this, play that. Will you play this? Will you play that? They don't, they don't ever even look at my channel. And see what all I've played. Uh, I think I'm going to start just deleting everybody that does that. There's a lot of them I'm going to start deleting. All the ones that just say hi. It takes up it takes up my channel comment section, and I have to stream down it forever to find one of my regular viewers and then I have to stream forever to find the next regular viewer. It's driving me crazy. In a little bit I'll tell you why they're all coming here. Let me see where I'm at now. Oh and especially the horror games to tell the truth because their scariness is balanced by your fabulous hilarious running commentary. And thus, even a chicken like me can enjoy the creepy hallways and unknown horrors lurking in the shadows. The two best games that I've played, I don't mean because they're my best games, but the games are the best horror games, was from Alessandro Gusso, who's a one author game. It's he makes good horror games. He understands what horror games should be like. And I'm so anxiously waiting for his third one to come out. Hopefully the end of this year. And I'll be back into a horror game. All the others I've tried just... They just don't do it for me. But it's not just gaming. The bookshelf videos... Make for lovely bedtime stories. Thank you. Your vlogs feel like listening to a dear friend over a cup of something delicious. <laughs> Thanks. Even like this one when I complain about other things too much. 
and then there are your own tales. Yes. I'm so enjoying writing stories. I've been writing stories ever since I was a child. And I've never finished a one. Until now, having this computer and having people out there watching and listening, I finished writing the story uh, that I made about the game. Oh, gosh, which one was it that I played that I wrote a story about also? Anyway, Bethesda wouldn't let me. Unleash it. All I could do is just read it to everybody on here. So that I thought that's pretty cool. So I'm writing this story about Dorkley, the young wizard. Uh, and it's my own story that I'm just making up as I write. So you're getting to hear that. I might publish that. I don't know. People keep asking me to. And then your own tales. I do hope my comments about Dorkley's adventures manage to accurately convey how much I enjoy them. Yes, they do, Hervessa. Also, whenever I see an interesting, twisted, and gnarly dead tree now, standing all alone atop a hill, I always think to myself, Curly would definitely take a picture of that. Sometimes I take one, too. Thank you. I'm glad that you, I'm glad that that makes you think of me. You mentioned from time to time that if there are things we have written, you'd love to read them. Well, since words are the form of art closest to my heart, I have taken the liberty of enclosing two of my short stories for your viewing pleasure, as the saying goes. Thank you, Hervessa. I haven't read them yet. I've been busy, <laughs> but they're right here, and I wanted to ask you, after I've read them, if I could do a vlog of, instead of reading my story, someday make a vlog and read your stories. Would you give me permission to do that and let people see how you write a story? I think it might be fun. You might like it. So you let me know. If you don't want me to, I won't. But if you wouldn't care, I would like to. I would certainly say that it's your story, not mine. Let me see, where am I? I keep losing my place. The first one is called Astride a Strider. That's a pretty cool title. And it's a little thing set in Morrowind. I wrote it for a writing contest organized by the team behind the Skyrim, Skywind and Beyond Skyrim mods. Oh, cool. I think that is so cool. The challenge was to write something that the players could actually find in the game. Oh, good. So I created an excerpt from a non-existent travel log and used stilt striders as the main topic as they are absolutely glorious space. Yes, they are. So is this going to be like a book or something found somewhere in the game that the player can read and it'll be written by you? That would be so cool. Let me know if that's what it means. When I tried Morrowind for the first time, I was little, like seven or so years old, and I was obviously terrible at it, as I couldn't even understand the game properly. <laughs> My English skills were practically non-existent back then, but I did love the Strivers and went on to call them buses. <laughs> Something that stayed with me through the following years. It's cute. So every time you play the game, you still call them buses, I suppose. The other story I wrote called Simply Down is a longer one. 
and it's my original work that I translated into English for you. Thank you. The setting is a, of a fantasy sort, but it follows a lone protagonist on his descent down into the depths of the earth. I do hope that you enjoy reading them. I can hardly wait to get started. Maybe later today I shall do both of them. Oh, and I'm also sending you a postcard with some interesting pictures. I showed you guys that. With some interesting pictures. I lost her place again. postcard with some interesting sculptures located in the region where I live. I thought you might find them cool. I do. I personally love such intriguing pieces of art. I always imagine I'm a game protagonist exploring a land filled with wonders. That's so cool. <laughs> because our planet is the most wondrous of worlds, truly. And she drew, drew a picture of a little world and equals a heart. I shall end this here before it becomes insanely long. Like your comments. <laughs> no, I love your comments. But once again, for good measure, thank you so, so much for sharing your ideas, your joy, and your witty remarks with us. Your videos brighten our days and bring smiles to our faces. Thank you. May your health remain as strong as dragon bones. May your eyes stay as sharp as Khajiit's claws. May your days be blessed by heavenly grace. And may your spirits soar higher than the throat of the world. I love that paragraph. Thank you. I wish you years and years of fun with all the things that you love. And Bethesda. I'd better hurry up with that sixth Elder Scrolls game. <laughs> Lots of love, Barbara. That's such a cool letter. Thank you so much. And seeing that your name is Barbara, that's fine. But to me, you're still Hervisa. <laughs> Thank you so much for all of these goodies and today I shall be reading the stories and waiting to hear back from you about whether I can make a vlog reading them to everyone on your behalf. Thank you Hervisa. Okay the last thing that I have to address is this. I've asked about this two or three times. I got this well, from, it's from out of a game. I got the blank envelope and they want me to sign this Put it back in this envelope and send it back to them. They did not put any mailing information on the envelope. Or if they did in the in the larger envelope that they sent me this in, I don't have it. I was thinking that it was from uh, O'Brien. Shelley O'Brien. But I've discovered that I have another O'Brien on my channel. It may be from that one. I don't know. But I've asked two or three times on here, would whoever sent me this please send me an address so that I can sign it and get it mailed back to them. You can either sign it, you can either send me the address or DM me on Twitter and give it to me. You can mail it to me like you mailed me that to my email address. 
I don't care how you get it to me, just so I know what to put on that envelope, and I'll return it to you. But it's laying around on my desk forever now, and I'm either going to have to put it away or throw it away if you don't get an address to me. So thank you. I will appreciate that whenever you are able to send it to me. And I'll get it soon. Okay, grandkids. That's all I have. Oh, I'm going to get off of here. I know I've made this way too long. It's 35 minutes. I don't usually do a vlog that long. Um, I'm going to get off here and go play Skyrim. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. So thank you guys very much. I appreciate all that you do. The, the things that you send me. The notes that you send me. Those of you that are my regular viewers that are on in my comment section a lot, I appreciate you so much. The the all those new kids that just come in and say hi and that say, I love you. <laughs> they don't even know me, they've never even watched me. Most of them come in and do that and go away, and I wish you'd just all go away. I don't have time for all that. So, bye for now. Talk to you all later if you don't all kick me off. <laughs> bye bye.